What's going on? I'm Allison, and for this workout, we're doing a total body boot camp routine. But before we begin, make sure to tap the subscribe button and tap the bell to stay notified of the latest fitness videos. For this workout, all you need is a moderate and heavy pair of dumbbells, a mat, and some water. We'll be working three blocks containing four moves each, 30 seconds on and a 15 second rest in between, and repeating each round two times. We'll also complete each block with a one minute core surge to fire up that midsection. This workout does not include a warm up and cool down, so make sure to do it on your own. Grab your equipment and some water, and let's get started. Here are your moves for block number one. Kicking off is a set of squat thrusts with a diagonal press overhead. Grabbing your moderate or your heavy weights if you're feeling good, start with those feet shoulder width apart in a squat position, toes facing forward. With the arms, palms are facing in, elbows tight. Now with the abs tight, sink back deep into those heels for the squat, and then on the way up, diagonal press, look at your side wall. Center up, do it again, inhale, exhale, press up. For the second strength move in block number one, we're taking it down onto the ground. We're doing a set of high plank renegade rows, and then we're gonna jump the feet in and perform a set of bicep curls. So what this looks like is we wanna use our heavier weights, have our hands on top in a high plank position, with the abs tight, we're going to row, row, jump the feet in, go wide, elbows to the inner thighs, perform a bicep curl. Set the weights down, jump back, do it again. Row, row, jump in, biceps. And for your high intense cardio move in block one, we're doing lateral jumps side to side. Give yourself a little bit of space, and there's different ways you can do this. If you wanna keep it low impact, do a big step touch, making sure those heels are down. You can add a small hop, you can add a crossover behind, and you can add a reach towards the ground for the most high intense. This will be for 30 seconds, two times in block one. And for that one minute core surge, grab one moderate dumbbell. We're doing a set of reverse crunches with the weight. Now the high intense version is legs up in a visa position. We're crunching in, extending out. Exhale, inhale. If you need to modify this, have your heels on the ground and do alternating knees instead still pulling the weight down and up.
Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool block number two. Grab your moderate weights. We're doing alternating lateral lunges and chest flies. Now give yourself some space on each side of you. Now from here, arms are up, elbows are soft, shoulders relax. We're going to perform your lateral lunge, extend those arms up, and then bring your feet in together, repeat other side. Elongate that inside leg and drive through that outside heel. If you need to modify this, do alternating arms instead. One arm, bring it in, and then the other. For that second strike move, we're doing a reverse lunge with diagonal cross. Grab one moderate or heavy dumbbell and reach the arm overhead. Now from here, step back for the reverse lunge, crossing over towards the outside leg of the front leg. Bring it back up and then repeat other side. Shoulders back, abs are tight and the chest lifted. And for your cardio in between the weight sets, we're doing high knee runs. Now for these high knee runs, we're driving the knees up to the chest, making sure the heels are down, spine is long. If you need to modify this, you can definitely do a big march and pump those arms instead. And for that one minute core surge, we're going back down onto the ground into a high plank position. We're doing alternating shoulder taps with alternating leg raises. Now in that high plank position, make sure the wrists and shoulders are stacked, abs are tight. We're going to alternate shoulder tap, shoulder tap, leg, squeeze the glutes, other leg, and then do it again.
this workout. Here are your moves for block number three. We're gonna get in a low squat position and do a low interim walkout, the push up, walk back. So from here, I'm going to have my feet about shoulder apart, go low, elbows tight, arms are ready to go. Walk those hands out, go into a high plank, give me one push up on your toes or knees, and then walk back, stay low and hold. Do it again, walk out, one push up, come back, and then hold. For your second strength move in block number three, we're gonna lie all the way down on the ground and do a set of hip grid marches with skull crushers. Grab your moderate pair of weights and lie all the way down. Now your feet have a little space in between and you wanna engage the core. With the arms, they're extended up, palms facing in, elbows are tight. Now with this move, we're gonna lift up into a high bridge position, do your skull crusher, and the option is to add that march. Your goal is to keep those hips steady and elbows parallel to each other. And for your cardio movement block number three, we're taking it back to a standing position. We're doing power jumping jacks. Now, you know a regular jumping jack. So instead, we're gonna do a power one, which is a low squat, arms up, and then bring it in. Down and up. Heels are down, knees are soft. If you're not feeling this, you can definitely do traditional, but if you're feeling the heat and want a little challenge, get low. You can also modify this with a half squat side to side and keep the same arms. And for your one minute core surge in block number three, we're doing a set of bicycle crunches. Fly all the way down on your mat, hands behind your head, lift those legs up. Now take one knee in, extend the other leg, and then rotate over, shoulder towards the knee. From here, engage in the core, rotate, other side. Make sure there's no space between your lower back and the mat. Slower is definitely better, so take your time. We know how to push the buttons to the core or I've got you If we figured out what it's all about Takes a second and then we back it up again Coaster ride for the triggered minds But I don't ever want us to stop playing Go ahead, tell let me smile from for all just wanna stay close, don't say that we ain't gonna leave ya And I wanna say touch
Awesome job. Remember to complete a cool down and stretch on your own. My name is Allison and I look forward to seeing you in the next workout. Great job at completing this workout. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also check out my Instagram at AllieFitATL for more daily workouts.